Hi everyone. So I was doing a bit of research in regards to looking at the possible chemical reactions that are happening uh, between the anode and cathode or the uh, moon and the sun. Anyway, I basically came across um, this article and I thought, what if the dome is just air cooled down? So um, it basically took me to solid oxygen. And so let's have a look at it and see if it could be a possibility for um, how the dome formed is basically through oxygen cooling down or air cooling down. So um, solid oxygen forms at normal atmospheric pressure at a temperature below uh, 54.36 Kelvin. Solid oxygen, O2, like liquid oxygen, is a clear substance with a light sky blue color causing the absorption in the red part of the visible spectrum. Oxygen molecules have attracted attention because of the relationship between molecular magnetization and crystal structures, electronic structures, and superconductivity. Oxygen is the only simple diatomic molecule and one of the few molecules in general to carry a magnetic moment. This makes solid oxygen particularly interesting as it is considered a spin control crystal that displays anti-ferromagnetic magnetic order in the low temperature phases. The magnetic properties of oxygen have been studied extensively. At very high pressures, solid oxygen changes from an insulating to a metallic state, and at very low temperatures it transforms to a superconducting state. Structural investigations of solid oxygen began in the 1920s and at present six distinct crystallograph phases are established unambiguously. So I just thought that was very interesting that the oxygen or air cooled down to a, a solid state starts to become superconducting and has all these uh, different interesting properties, not only the sky blue color, um, but crystal structures and um, all this. So anyway, I just thought that was interesting enough to share and uh, get your thoughts on. And uh, thanks for watching.